know about relationships, but you're wrong. Listen, there's no magic bullet. I'm teaching life skills. When you sick, you need medicine. It don't always taste good. Nah. But it'll get you better. You, you, you need this medicine. Yeah. It ain't gonna always taste good. But this is what you need. Men and women, bottom line, we need to have the conversation. Your partner wants to give up control, but only if you know how to drive. This is about being the best you you could ever be, whoever you are. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, LGBTQ, space alien. I'll save anybody. I don't care. I'll teach a hedgehog how to have a threesome. What do you mean by that? Look, you don't have to listen to me, but you're wrong. Listen, I know I'm great. And I know you're thinking, Dante, there's no way I could be like you. But you could be me, you know why? Because you know who I was before I was me? I was you. you. Man school, 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't. Yo, yo, what's up, y'all? GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The Sexual Revolution being podcasted, and I am excited because this is a special show. Now, I might have said that 500 times before, but this time I really mean it. We got a special guest in the building, but first and foremost, Harry, what's popping? Oh, I'm doing good. You good? You ready to rock good. and roll? I'm having a tough time keeping these gators down. It's pimping but other than that. It really gets easy with practice. Yo. I want to introduce my guest. This is my nigga, for real. Dog, for years. You know what I'm saying? Back. All day, every day. You know what I'm saying? We outside. We outside. Um, Still don't know. You don't know what? We Still outside. Don't. I gotta see that clip for it to make We sense. on the block. You can see me. <laughs> Yo, give it up for Imagine, y'all. Man. Yep, yep. What up, baby? What's up, Dante? How are you, it's man? Good to see you, brother. Good to see you, too, yo. Nice little spot. Like you, haven't, you haven't, like you haven't little... done the show. It, when you did the show, we was doing it on the on my dining room table. Your dining room table, yeah. It was you, Serge, and, and Luis Gomez. Dang, you remember that night. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we had, had so much time. fun. That was a cool night. It was dope. That was like one of your first um, episodes and stuff. Yeah, I mean, we, 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 had, we didn't have a, we didn't have a studio on, yeah. and shit yeah, like Yeah, very early on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was becoming um, and I wanted, a wave. And I wanted to fucking have you on individually, too, but, you know. Whatever. Yeah, no, we, all, we then, always moving around. But, but, so, I, but, but at that time, we used to just throw a bunch of motherfuckers on and hope the show was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we now we try to dig it in, you know what I'm saying, dig it in. And too. then we realized that was a stupid idea. That was the dumbest idea ever. Put a bunch of uh, <laughs> attention-hungry comedians uh, all, uh, all in show. one show. Oh, and yeah. Hope they would be polite enough to let the other one speak. Uh, is that how it sounded when you uh, played it, it back? Good. It was good because yeah. we, you know, we, we kind of learned to learn, you know, not to step on each other. It was but fun, but some people have an ego, or too many people want to get their shit in. Yeah, yeah. Let me, yeah. Let me, let me, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna yeah. say this. Fucking imagine is a dude who I've always admired as a comic. Uh, what I what I would say, effortlessly funny. Mm. The Puerto Rican Tony Woods. <laughs> nice. Effortlessly funny. Just easy. Just, e- just, you would not think that somebody would smash so hard. Mm. So easy. So effortlessly. Yeah, yeah, effortlessly. Thank you, man. I appreciate that, yeah. man. Thank, no, that, you, thank you for watching me because I tried to put my best into it. You know what I mean? We're, yeah, in, yeah. we're in the game of funnies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just enjoy funnies. And. And to be honest, you know the compliment that I gave you is is it's, is is on. No, that's a serious that's one. That's dead on. To right? compare with Tony Tony Roberts, that's a deep. Yeah, that's a that's deep. Dead yeah. on. Dead on. No, not Tony Roberts. Tony Woods. Tony. Oh, Tony. Oh. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That, and that's one of my inspirations really? to be watching. Coming up from um, Laugh Lounge back yeah, in yeah, our yeah, days, yeah. the Laugh Lounge days. Yeah, yeah. Um, Tony Wood, I got to work with him a whole lot more over there. And man, we just became each other's favorite fans. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how we became that oh, close. That's, that's kind of a camaraderie that y'all have. Yes, we're just. Oh man, I'll I've sit always, down. I've said that to you, right? There. I imagine yeah. it's like. The, the yeah, you, you totally said works. a lot of complimentary things. Yeah, complimentary things about Imagine. That's, imagine is dope. That's he's my dope. guys. Yo, shout out to him. He's doing real good things right now, man. Yeah. I, I, I'm real. Happy to see the platforms he's rocking out yeah, on uh, right now. But he's always, you know, t- Tony. Tony was always self-sabotaging. 
you know, Tony's fuck up his own. I mean, the motherfuckers have always loved Tony. Tony's always been funny. Yeah. But he wasn't a dude that would show up. He wouldn't always show up. Yeah, I hear you. You know, and that, and that, and that, that kind of. Yeah, but a lot of us fall I into do. those. <laughs> I do into those categories sometimes. Tony life Woods. is just life. To Tony, so. Tony Woods, they used to host the Tony Woods show on like uh, Monday nights or whatever. Yeah, the used to do that Boston. On Monday nights, right? And then one day he missed a show and then two weeks later he missed the show and then he was gone for a month and then he was gone for like a year. Lord, right? for and, he came, and he came back, right? So he just stopped showing up. So they he was just like, started booking. the Tony Woods show? Yeah. Y'all don't call it the Tony Wood Show no more. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, you have been gone for a year, bro. He just has that oh, that yeah, energy still. of him is such it's such a pleasure to be around him. Period, because he's gonna take you for. It's a funny thing. I called Tony up. I said, Tony, I'm at Stand Up New York. Tony, you supposed to be up next. Where you at, Shorty? Where I'm supposed to be? Yeah. Stand Up New York. Damn, what time's the spot? I was like, 9.35, you got like 12 minutes to get here. Man. He goes, oh, man. I'm like, where you at? He said, yo, I'm in fa- I'm in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, why did you ask me what time was the spot? Like, you, what like difference did somehow it make? you was going to make it? Because he's always on. Yeah. He's, always, he's definitely always on. Yeah. That's his thought process. He's it's definitely like, always on, on. Yeah. I don't know how to. I'm sorry, you guys. I, I don't That's know how right. to turn it off. It's, off. Sorry, it's, sorry. it's an iPhone. <laughs> I just switch from amps. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, yeah, little by little, I'll get that. Yeah, so he was just, uh, he was like, Shorty, I'm in, Shorty, I'm in Paris, France. Like, I'm not going to make it. I don't, I guess yeah, I, I would assume not. not. Yeah, yeah, you are in France. Like, whatever. You got to love him still, so man. He's, that's my dog, though. I mean, oh, but imagine it's like one of those dudes, one of those vet dudes that just, you watch You watch the magic. You watch the magic. Yeah. How's the kids, bro? Man, they're grown. Thanks, how old, God. That's, how old? Uh, we have uh, 34. Oh, shit. 30. Bro, for real, for 30. real. 30. And my granddaughter's fifteen right now. My really? grandson is about to be three. Yeah, that's crazy. I started. I started way back, stuff. How old you started when you had your first? 14, like fourteen, fifteen. Wow. And then um, my boy was at seventeen, eighteen. How did that? How did you fucking do at fourteen? Like what? What the fuck did y'all? Play my wife boxing? is older than me. How much? Two years older than me. Yeah, she's yeah, still so sixty. She was 16. Yeah, she's, she's still sixty. Yeah, it's still, she's not robbing yeah, the cradle. 14, imagine. Yeah, yeah, no. It's um. <laughs> like, those days, it was called, like that. Back then, they yeah. called him a milf. The she's grown, a milf. The, the grown. 16. Yo, listen. You know, I tell her that today. I say because um, I used to tell her, I say, yo, you know, um, you snatched me up. <laughs> <laughs> say no, I didn't. Yes, you did. I saw you stalking me. You didn't know any better. You were I fourteen. You were naive. You, you just, fell under the spell. Of I, look, 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 I was doing the nasty, and I had fun with it. So it was, was like, let's do it here. The, at those times, it's let's do it anywhere moments. How you know long y'all I mean? married? How long y'all married? Well, we just got married. Okay. Like official. You know, how Puerto Ricans do. We <laughs> wait. We wait a long time. How, how long ago y'all got married? Yeah, uh, we have about four years now. And right how now. How long did you wait till you got how married? Well, we waited many years. <laughs> two decades. You go. You, you yeah, can't be too. Cool. You can't rush into these things. Two decades. The yo, oldest son is thirty-four. Yo, back in the days, if you couldn't afford the engagement ring, right. you was all right. The enga- yeah. You see, it was kind of like affording it. You like know what I mean? I, it, yeah, I couldn't afford well, to give four, up. At fourteen, to what give is three months salary? That's, see what that's, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's fifteen. You want to do it, but there's no way. Not with, not in those. Not in that age. Exactly. <laughs> my my. You gotta right get there. a paper route to get his engagement. <laughs> right? I had to get a. Pa- my mom's had to sign it. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. yeah it's per, uh, um consent slips and all. Yeah. Oh, you what, had to get a consent. No, if I do go forward oh, with right, it, right, right, yeah, right. those times. But you know, later on, you just get used to the engagement ring. So. Did y'all? How long did y'all just live apart for a while, and then yes, you just lived in your mom's Went house. Went to school, right? Did the whole school thing, right? Well, play hooky. Basically, we didn't go to school. It was just catching up. It was like those are the times that we just caught up. Yeah. Then the daughter was with the grandparents because uh-huh. they thought there was school going on. You know, there's a lot yeah, of yeah. it's a lot of catching up, a lot of catching up, and then we get the apartment after the second one. And how how many years after was that? That's how five more years. How, how, so how my old son. You? That's five. My daughter's thirty-five, so my son is thirty. So five years. So you were like twenty. Yes. By the time y'all got the apartment. Uh, I would say twenty-one. Yeah, about around around that. So what'd you do with a son at fourteen? Like 
Yeah, you just raise them, bro. Like how, that's crazy. You raise I your kids. I've never asked somebody. You see, I, if I, you I, agree yeah. with it, see, my mental is different. If I agreed with it mentally, that I'm gonna go forward with this mission, meaning having a kid and everything. You know, you think about it. This right. is the time you think about. It. Then me and then me and my wife. He was like, let, let let's go for it. So we went for it, and then something happened. The kid didn't come out. Well, something happened in the first beginning. We had tears together. We shared the love. And right, all right, this. right. But then I was like, you know, let's let's try again. So you did it again. So you did. The, you, you we lost wanted the first to do one, it, and then you had. No, you don't lose it. You just don't get the results right, that you're right. expecting. There was no process of losing anything right. like that. I won't say that. But you know, it's like okay, then come out positive. And you so, how I mean? long did you? But you how long you trying to have a baby? You're trying to have a baby. Oh, you're trying to have a baby at fourteen. At, at those ages, you well. I was making money. I couldn't afford it. In those hustling. days, yeah, I was grinding. I was hustling. At fourteen, yes, I've been in the streets wow. since nine. Okay. Yeah. I'm from the Bronx. It's, it's a different. Yeah, so it's a different fourteen. You outside? Yeah, I, yeah, I was outside all day. <laughs> when all the kids were upstairs, I was still outside in front of the outside. building. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because my mom's was outside. Right. My grandma was playing bingo, so we couldn't go home till she was done with bingo. You know what I mean? It's just a different world. Get out that key. It means don't go nowhere, mm. which was in the hood. And I was just yeah. staying in the hood. I was so you, know, you was hustling at like fourteen. My first hustles were, um, my, I was hustling since way back, like nine, because I was sneaking outside to the hallway of the building. I right. met all the kids in the lobby playing, right, right, right. playing in the hallways and stuff. But when I started exiting the building, was to um, pump gas. Work at the at the supermarket. Right. You understand? Pack bags. But you wasn't selling drugs. In no, F-14. not at all. No, 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 no not no. at all. Oh, Dr- that's when I thought you said uh, you no. Was the hustling. drug probably because you know I, I am from the Bronx. That part probably came in at sixteen. You understand? Oh, like there's later. two kids. <laughs> yeah, there's two kids. <laughs> yeah, that's the, yeah, yeah. But the, no, there's two kids the old now. Man, by then right. your hustle your hustle is different because you go from ganja, and then we're like, yo, I gotta upgrade the business, so I upgraded it. You how know what I mean? How long did you hustle for? Uh man, until the time you- until the time I got locked up for it, that was it. Yeah, because when I came home, I threw in the fl- the the, 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 the towel. towel. I was like, like, well, I ain't. Nah, nah, how long? How long was that, how long was that whole process from you hustling to to getting caught, the bid, everything to coming home? It was a process of uh, to, man, since I started young, it was a long process. You know what I mean? Like, like how many years? How many years? How many like, years? How long? Well, how old were you when you came home? Oh, when I came home, let me see. I came home blah, 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 about 20. No, 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 no. I came out 31. How, how long was the bid? The bid was three and a half. Okay. So I got caught when I was like 27. 20, yeah, somewhere around there like that. And then I, that, was, that was the bid. Because all the other ones like bullpen therapy. Getting caught for this. Did you, would you explain bullpen the therapy? Bullpen. You don't yeah, know about bull- oh, bullpen uh, therapy is for the benefit of people who no, might not be aware. The bullpen is, 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 is a clever name, bullpen. But yeah. the therapy behind it is was brain like damaging and says so you yeah. you lay there. This is jail. It's they call jail. Yeah, like bullpen therapy is like what um precincts well, have about the skin cells, bits, skin bits. Cells like yeah. this, like this right here. This would size, be, okay. yeah, this size, but with like 40, 50 guys in it. In the so you don't have, no, 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 this is us waiting going to court. Okay. So that would be bullpen therapy. Okay, okay, just a process just the from process. the precinct to okay. the court to your arraignment. Right, that process is the most wickedest process you could probably go through. You know what I mean? That mm-hmm. when people go to when go, when they present themselves to the judge, they're ready to go to Rikers. Right. Cause they're going to get a meal. They'll get a bed. You, so it's just uh, all. It's just disgusting. It's right. the world of it's disgust. Just grimy. It's just the griminess. It's like everybody's grimy. Trying yeah, to get yeah, it. trying to get a slot on the floor. It's like real, real. It's like real Mexico in there. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> you ever seen them jails? Right? Yeah, it's yeah. like real Filipino style. Like yeah. this, the cell only fits a hundred people tonight. We have a thousand two hundred, <laughs> and you see them just there. I don't want you to be here. Oh God, yeah, but minimize yeah. it by a hundred maybe, but fifty. It's a lot of crowd. Yo, that's a lot. Yeah, uh-huh. that's why COVID. When COVID hit, died. that's the first place I thought about. I was yeah. like, oh my God, just, can you right. imagine? A lot of motherfuckers died. No, they were letting people out. Yeah, but, but they in was the beginning, dying at first. The in the beginning, they dying. didn't know what was happening. Not at all. Because they don't think that happens anyway. 
we're talking about what are you, what they mass mass I'm saying mass spreader mass that's what they call them uh, super oh spreaders god dear super spreaders super spreaders yeah oh. but there was motherfuckers there was motherfuckers in in prison doing you know sneaking cameras showing motherfuckers like dying when motherfuckers just with a blanket over his head coughing was, and shit just it dying it was really bad yeah covid in there like that was in the place cuz you're not going to get the service you're not going to get the service. Give me your phone, because you don't know how to cut the fucking sound off yeah. of this motherfucker. Yeah. There's a little button on the Was side. Was that it? The yeah, there's the a little side. button on the side. The fuck little button you just touched? <laughs> right there. See the hole right there? This right here? Yeah, I just yeah. put it down. Showing a magic. Is that what? Put it back up. Yeah. When you leave. That'll put it on the side. Appreciate you. you. Thank you. Ain't, but you ain't want to expose that shit until it, uh, it annoyed you. That's fucked up. <laughs> Cause it's been happening like gonna, four times. I was, like, gonna, I was gonna tell you. I was gonna he tell said you went from Android to iPhone. Yeah. Give him ten more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that was bullpen therapy. He gave me the therapy. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, ugh. well, Listen. yeah. He assumed you were being sarcastic when you said you couldn't lower it. He didn't know. Dante no, didn't I, know. Really I, didn't. Think, uh, I really didn't. I really didn't. Yeah. I, I only. I don't even have a month with this iPhone, okay. and right. my wife bought it for me, and it's suspicious to me right now because she knows <laughs> all my locations. Oh, you're, you're upset that yeah. why she's she, like she's yeah. like know exactly where I'm at. I show you how to. Call. I show you how to block that too. Listen, I need your help <laughs> because I feel if I make a left and it's the wrong left, she calls me like <laughs> you know. You it's at? not hello. It's like where you at. You know what I mean? What Usually I like you call somebody, you say hello. Yeah, hi. No, it's. Where you at? Yeah. <laughs> oh God! What I like is that Imagine is not afraid, even though he's been locked up. Not afraid of the police or the government. No. The wife. That's the, the wife no, is what you got to worry about. Yeah. No, the, wife the wife will get you. That's yeah. That's probably yeah. That's my yeah. parole officer for life. That's crazy. Yes. That's crazy. Yo. <laughs> my fuckers don't really know how bad that shit was with the COVID. And my fuckers was just yeah. in there dying. Just yeah. in there fucking dying. Niggas was getting, filming my fuckers. So it's it's all. You know what's funny? You know, I say this all the time. It's like when when they experience the shit that they experience now, like stuff when you talk about like the George Floyd, all that shit, it's like, dog, this was always cops used to come up and smack you in your fucking mouth. For no reason. For no reason. Throw you up against just, the thing. Just to get you out the building. Yeah, get you. You was outside. They wanted if to you see. Because at one time they did the um the hallway sweeps. Yeah. Where we where do we smoke our weed? Smoke weed in, the in the hallway. We do everything in the hallway at one yeah. time. You know what I mean? But it might be the 18th floor because yeah. basically the projects is yeah. what really got targeted. You know what I mean? Right, but, right. And then they send people like the cops that they were sending in there were not. They're from the suburbs. You don't understand what's gonna happen. Nah. So there was a lot of incidents going on with that. That's like that one cop that shot that kid on the roof. Remember? Yeah, yeah. He got you know they hit him. He got charged with that. Oh, re yeah, really? He, he really got yeah. They charged About him time. with that. Cause um you know it was reckless. He didn't have to shoot, but he was so he was so scared. Scared. You understand what I'm saying? It's like wow. He's a straight pussy. Why? Yeah. Why are you? Why are you in this pussy. game? They pussy. You, you know in the I mean? game and you pussy. Yeah, no, you don't belong they, in you, that. Come on, you don't, you belong. don't belong in that field. Not at Dog, all. Dog, I always say this about Amadou Diallo. What was it? What was it? Amadou Diallo was when he got kicked, killed with the the wallet in his hand. <laughs> yes. Right? Seventy two so, times he got but shot. But here's the thing, you know, if it's an African dude. That's not a problem. Mm -hmm. You don't shoot African dudes. Look, if you got a credit card, you don't want to fuck with an African dude. But an African dude is not doing grimy shit, robbing and sticking no, up. No, not at all. So if you if you a white dude, you come from the suburbs. You can't. You don't know the difference between a Haitian dude, an African dude, and a regular black dude. If you can't tell. You, you shouldn't sh be in this job. You gotta get out you of here. You shouldn't be in that job. Period. Yeah. If you can't like single them out, like in that sense, like you said. Yeah, you don't. Or the you know. wallet. Yeah, well. Because yeah. he was like, you know, this is. Yeah. I, 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 wow, bing, boom, boom, yeah. bing, bing, bing. Yeah. For, for this. Because he, you know. Yeah. That's terrible. I, dog, I've had motherfuckers I've spoke to recently where I was like white dudes who it was like, you know, it's just, it's, it's just, it's so tragic. I was like, dog, this is, this is the best time ever. You, it's the best it's ever been so far. Motherfuckers didn't get locked up for killing a dude mm -hmm. in the street. He didn't even lose his job. Mm -hmm. It was just what happened. Yeah, exactly. Buck up, nigga. Fucking Giuliani. When they, when Giuliani, fuck, I'm going to do Diallo killed. Giuliani said, I stand by my officers. Yeah, Gi but Gi Giuliani in those days, he had vengeance with the Italians. Oh, yeah. bro. He just like, he, went he after had the something with these Italians. But you know what happened. When and he's Italian, right? Yeah, but you know what happened he's with Italian. Giuliani? Yeah. Yeah. 
You this, know what happened to him though? All of those, all of the stuff that made him the mayor, uh-huh. because it was unconstitutional. It was the whole RICO law he did. All of those indictments got overturned because they were illegal in the first place. So uh, that motherfucker was shady. At the always. appeal, a lot of them got turned around. Well, then. well, right, because he used the RICO law, and then they found out that it was unconstitutional what they were doing to them, and all of those South Street, all because it was all the Italians at South Street Seaport. Yeah, they got oh, it got overturned. Wow. And they all got out, but he had already got the props for being America's cop, top yeah, he, cop. But he came shit. in with vengeance, though. I yeah. was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> wow. But he cleaned, he cleaned New York, yo. He, he, he brought in, clean, he brought in an attitude to New he York. Clean, like he cleaned what he His corruption clean, was an attitude because yeah. we suffered through it. Dog, all of us through it. I, that's how I, you know, I, that's how I, I tell people all the time, that's how I ended up pimping. Yeah? Because he was, um... He was sending vice out to the strip clubs. Uh. So my man was running the strip club, and he was like, and the chicks was turning tricks okay. in the strip club. Okay. So, like, if you could get a lap dance, you should just pull it to the side. Boop, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. boop, boop, right? Yeah, exactly. And, uh, and the, the owner hired me because I was stripping then, and he was like, yo, these chicks know you. They respect you. Why don't you come and manage the club and keep these bitches from fucking mm. in the club? Mm. And so every day I come to work and I'd be like, stop fucking in the corner, stop fucking. And then I was like, bing, y'all want to fuck? Let's take it out of the club. We'll do this. Exactly. We'll, separately. We'll do this separately. Yeah. And that's how I got in the game. Nice. I didn't know you was part of that. Yeah. yeah. Well, because you don't. It's, it's funny, I was telling somebody about this the other day. I mean, you day. never brought any of your hoes to the comedy club. That's what I'm saying. Well, I, I, was, out I, of it. I was out of it by then. Oh, I, okay. I, That's fucked up, right? See, I've I I never seen you with any of your hoes at the club. How <laughs> <laughs> come you don't bring by your hoes? I never. How um, long I want to meet some of your hoes. <laughs> Imagine how long you know we know each other. We know. I'm, I'm 28 you years know in the me game. Before you, I'm 28 in the game. Yeah, but I booked you for stuff. Yeah. Before wait. I was doing comedy. No. Yes. You been you see where you was at? I was watching you. You was doing a lot of um the Boston. You was doing a lot of New York. Yeah, but I knew you from you before was, that. Yeah, I, um, I we did Yagamo. When I was together. when I was when I was stripping, I knew you. Oh, I to see that's like, when I, I was stripping. I was and I was producing comedy shows. You were stripping. Yes. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah. You, see, this you didn't is, know that? No, this is a surprise to me. Yeah, I was, Do you have surprise sound? Boom, 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 boom. From, <laughs> from uh, eighty nine to ninety nine. You was mm. oh okay. I, so yeah, I, was, I was in the so, game. But then I started producing shows, like I started producing shows in '92. I started doing comedy shows in '92. Okay, where I used to produce shows and 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 have comics come, and and that's where I met you back then. Nice. Just book with Angelo Lozado. So you retired yourself from stripper. Yes. How was that ceremony? I didn't, you know. You didn't do like a last strip. There was a lot. You of You didn't dudes. go on a retirement I didn't tour. Just, yeah, you didn't. Yeah, right. I just, like, I just faded away. Shaking his dick for the last time, yeah, ladies exactly. and gentlemen. <laughs> a, lot, bro, a, lot, a lot of dudes did that. Was you an aggressive stripper? Would you yeah, grab the head and be like, bang, yeah, right was, there in your yeah, in your crotch, like, yeah? Yeah, I was a wild dude. I was a wild dude. Yeah, I was a wild dude. Why did you choose to fade away? Because I watched so many strippers who, way after their prime. They quit stripping, and then they would have a, I'm going to do my retirement party, mm-hmm. and all these old bitches would come out to check, you know, to pay their butt. Pay but, their respects. But they would, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is a process. That you look young bands, and you get tears, older. Yeah, okay. Tears. And they would give you a cake and mm-hmm. shit, and they'd bring you gifts and shit. But it was always like, by the time dudes tried to, to, to retire, yeah, they had already lost their they hype. So there would be a show, right? It would be all these young dudes coming, okay. and then there would be like a little ceremony, but it would be a whole new crop of new chicks, okay. and they wanted to see the show. They didn't give a fuck about you. They didn't know you, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you was the old school nigga. So the retirement party. What, what was, was your stripper name? I know Mandingo. it was like Mandingo, Man- Prince Mandingo. Yeah, you heard this shit? Yeah, yeah, no, I heard it. I've known it. It's Prince not even Mandingo. him. He fucking, his dick has the name. That's what <laughs> it is. He was introducing his dick. Look at this shit. Like, dick was give it up to Dante and Mandingo. <laughs> it was 
<laughs> it was Prince Mandingo featuring yeah, Dante. Yeah, yeah. Special yes. guest. But it, it was uh, Dante. But the dudes would dudes would retire way after their prime, and then nobody would give a fuck. It was just sad. It was kind of sad. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was, was just like, sad to see motherfuckers like, and then the motherfucker would be like, he would come in a limo, a limo, and the young new bitches would be like, who the fuck who is, the fuck is, is fuck this? We don't give a shit but, anymore. And, but what about like I know you yeah. have fans and stuff, and 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 I asked you if you was aggressive, right? Yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. maybe you just stop because you started doing clubs and then you was approaching women and they were like, no, nah, last time you heard me. <laughs> nah, they ain't. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Retire. But, no, they ain't. Too much property Your Mandingo damage. bus <laughs> ride. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the strip club's like, hey man, we can't afford the insurance, bro. You, you smacked you me too hard. Mandingo sniping. They, they had a dude, this dude, this dude, Mr. Wonderful. Dante was is like not you. Mon- he was like, it's sh- Mandingo. I'm scared. <laughs> there, was this, there was this dude, Mr. Wonderful, was like ripped muscle dude right yeah he used to get pissy drunk right uh, okay and he would have the girl and you know like to be the pillar in, okay. the, in the dance and he would pin her against the pillar and he would grab the pillar he'd be humping her okay and the girl would be like ow i like because he was so drunk he didn't have he control didn't, yeah he was then mm. he he had no kind of he couldn't dance and he had no kind of acrobatic ability. <clears throat> he was all muscular yeah he just, was, his body he was, just was crazy big but but he him. would out of the blue. How was your dancing? I'm just you. You put this head. visual in my I head was a now. Head. You, oh, okay. I was a, I was a so what was you, what was the music? You were like yo, private. Work it to the bone. Remember? No, that thing. Work. Yeah, yeah. To the bone, bone, bone. Yeah, oh, a, that was you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Black shit, Betty. Yeah. I used to dance the blow. Oh, Black Betty was down the back. Oh, Black Betty. Not, oh, listen. Wow. Man, I, my name is Imagine. Let me close my eyes real quick. <laughs> oh, this guy is Mandingo, is it? <laughs> but That's the dude, up, bro. he would be so drunk, and then he, oh, he he would just decide that he was going to do a front somersault, but he had no, he couldn't do front no. somersault. So he would just like, ah, bang, and <sighs> slam on the he, he, Yeah, he was a wild dude. In the break and dance community, community we would call that the suicide. Yeah, the suicide. That was called yeah, suicide. Was suicide. That was a yeah. dance move. But it was but a real suicide. Yeah, I know. Now, wow. I used to do a suicide, but I would do a suicide with the intention of doing a suicide. Yeah, oh, so you like know what dance I'm talking about. Yo, pop, pow, yeah. right there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. but he, he would do suicide with no... That was like my it. favorite move, yo, yeah. the suicide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People were like, go, eh, go do a suicide. You get ah, one person and say, do a suicide. And I'd be like, bam. Yeah, he, uh, there was another dude... This guy Roger, he used to, he was like a, he used to, he's like a smooth nigga. Used to dance to R and B, nice. and he used to go and just mess up girls' hair. Okay, like he would, purposely, he would, yeah, like he would be stro- stroking their face, and then he would just take like their hair be done. And he would do this, Harry. He would do like this. <laughs> and they would be like, "Why? Why would he what? mess? Why would, what would be the idea of messing <laughs> up their hair? Fuck up everybody! <laughs> and they be would, an asshole. They would be like this. <laughs> he would be like, mm. just to be yeah. an yeah. asshole. Yo, can you, yo, can you imagine? Yeah. That, since you said that, can you imagine there was there was a stripper that would go out there and everybody had straight hair by the time their set is over. Yeah. And <laughs> everybody, everybody hair why is bra- everyone's hair all fucked yeah. up yeah. when yeah, I no, get no, out no. here, bro? Everybody's hair is braided. Son, he would be, he would be, he would be looking at me, laughing. <laughs> And oh, fucking up hilarious. everybody here. So it's like pulling a rib. He's just <laughs> fucking with them. He would just fuck with their hair. And they would be like, yeah, yeah. You're the tip of them. And he would and be like, just be like wow. And they would be wow. like this. Wow. <laughs> you know what they spend on their hair? And know? some of them have to have tracks and weeds. Tracks and, and weeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's hilarious. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> he, he'd take the weave. Sometimes he'd take the weave. But like if they had a wig, he would spin it around them. <laughs> Did he try to make it sexy? Nah, no. Yeah, yeah. Nah. Like, he would be like he would be dancing. Ooh, oh. uh, give me one little rock it. I like, and then he would just be like, Ooh, and then he'd take the girl here, spin it around. Stupid. It's just unnecessarily mean. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this That's is this is re- when they knew they were gonna become comedians. Oh, I know you- <laughs> when yeah. when is it that you knew? All right, because you go from stripper. So what happened was to I comedy. Yeah, I that's... always wanted to do comedy. Okay. So like right after, like so around, so I was like eighty nine, ninety. I was stripping. I was stripping, and then Def Jam broke. Okay. So when Def mm-hmm. Jam broke, I knew. So I knew Tracy and Mike Epps and all of them when they were at Uptown Comedy Club when they were doing the sketch okay. show for yeah. Uptown. And I had come home from college. And I was doing martial arts and doing bare knuckle fighting and stuff. Nice. And I knew them. And I knew Flex. That was at like Monty's Comedy Club, right? Or something was, like that. It, yeah. was, uh, it was actually Kev.com. 
You know Kev.com. Yes. And yeah. Andre Iceman. Yeah, that was right under the subway. 125th. Up it was Tom on, Comedy it was on Club. 125th or like yeah. first. No, I'm talking about the first one was right on 20, 125th around the corner from Black National Theater. Yes, on exactly. On Fifth that, Avenue. Yeah, yeah, that one, that one, yes. And they did the television show mm -hmm. there with, with Flex Alexander, was Ronda Fowler, Jim Brewer, uh, wow. Rob McNaughty, uh, uh, Corwin. Remember Corwin? Or Corwin? No, and, no. Uh, and, uh, and then all of them were writing for it. Mm. Mike Epps, Tracy Morgan, all those dudes was writing for him. I Cookie remember them times, and, yeah. And um, and then I wanted to do comedy then. Like I always liked comedy. Like as a kid, I was watch. You know, I would watch, stay up late and watch. Yeah. J uh, Johnny Carson and watch, like Gary Mule Deer. I I, I remember Poundstone. when I first saw you. I saw you at Stand Up New York, and then I saw you at New yeah, York I, Comedy Club. I started Club. doing stand up in two thousand. And I thought actually I saw you and I was an audience member. That's when I discovered. Really? Me. I was an audience member. My, my, one of my boys was like, yo, let's go to comic club. I was like, let's just do it. Uh, oh, just, and you was a comic there. still. I was yeah, a comic yeah, yeah. already, but I was doing a lot of urban rooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this was like a mainstream comedy club. So yeah. let's get the experience of what's right, going right. on. Right, right, That's right. That's when I met um, Phil, Phil from Brooklyn. Phil from Brooklyn, Phil, yeah, Phil, yeah. From, remember, Phil from Brooklyn was on the lineup. Yeah, yeah. You was closing it. Yeah. It was us three in the front. Yeah. You were just snapping in us and all. It was a great time. Yeah, yeah. And um, it, 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 it didn't match what I saw. That was what made me. Oh, me. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then, but you, you brought that out and yeah. stuff and the rings. I remember you was talking yeah, about yeah. the rings and yeah, all yeah. this. And you know how hard it is to come out the airport. Whatever the case yeah, may yeah, be, yeah, yeah. you was you you killed it you know, yeah, in a sense. Thanks, bro. And um um that was the first time I seen you as an audience member. Yeah, yeah. Then I yeah. got to see you in New York, and yeah, yeah, you understand. Yeah. And then you started doing bigger things. You, I started seeing you on TV. I started doing yeah. Yeah. So you yeah you you've been in the game for a while, yeah, man. I got like twenty one in. Yeah, you definitely been around, man, and always stepped to the mic and always delivered something Thank great. You, That's bro. what's I up, bro. It. I always enjoyed it. watching you. Yeah, the, the thing too was that I started out in the Chitlin Circuit. In the black room. Yeah. And then, but there was so many who you was Who you was dealing with at those times? Uh, who was the dude? Cortez? Mm. Remember Cortez? Cortez died, Cortez. right? He OD'd, right? No, Cortez is still out there. I, I, I booked him as a matter of fact for Havana. Not, not booked that he came over. Cortez? Is he, Cortez. Is he uh, still in the city? Cortez, yeah. Chubby black guy, a little bit heavy No, set. remember skinny Cortez? He kind of looked like, like uh, DMX a little bit. Mm. Remember when they used to do Sylvia's restaurant in Brooklyn, the the soul food restaurant in Brooklyn? Yeah, isn't there one in Harlem? No, that's Harlem. That's no, Harlem. Uh, Sheila's. Sheila's, yeah. Sheila's, Sheila's in Brooklyn yeah. on DeKalb Avenue. Cortez, I gotta know Cortez. Remember we they used to do yeah. Claremont Lounge. They used to do uh, uh, all those. Little yeah, but that was Ray DeJean. And yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ray from. Back, back you was going through with can Capone's. I, Capone was doing BBQs and stuff. Can I, okay. Capone was later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Can I'm I ask you something? Imagine, like, getting into it as a... When When do you get into it? And also, like, when do you make that decision? Because you got a kid at 14. Mm -hmm. Like, how did you, start you doing get into comedy from the streets? Um, well, the streets... The I, I call it and the court. what's that like having courts, a kid when you got to do it? I say I the courts made me do it. The courts made you do it. The courts made me do it. In what sense? Facing, How did this happen? I was facing, um, I was facing some time, but in the situation when the situation happened where I got caught selling drugs to a cop, whatever the case may be, whatever, right. whatever the case may, be. yeah, whatever the case may be. <laughs> you gave the full description. This, I, was like, I was like, yo, listen, I don't know what you talking about. This was my Smart, good man. This, yeah, this was like I don't know what you talking about because I had got rid of rid of the 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 um, mark money. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The mark money I always. I was a smart kid. I was like, I don't like this. And when I look at him, I'm like, I don't like the way this one. My boys are like, I don't know. You look right. strange. That day, we, I got rid of that. So, so they didn't catch so you So A, B didn't money. connect with me. So I had a defense. I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, so what do you do for a living? Those are the words I chose. Or oh, I do stand-up comedy. You understand what I'm saying? So right. that's why do you have money? What do you do for a living? Is that what it was? Uh, you got Where do you get this? Yeah. Where'd you make all this money from? Well, How these questions, I, was, I, I, I do shows, I, right. I do comedy, I'm a stand-up comedian. I'm not a drug dealer. This is what I, I I'm do most definitely comedy. not a drug dealer. Yeah, That's what you're asking, sir. You, you see, the whole, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that whole persona now, um, 
it says what they say, um, whatever you say will be held against you in yeah, the court yeah, of law. Yeah, yeah. So whatever I said was different. what I had to say and keep my word. Right, right. That was me. I was like, I can't change this. So my lawyer was like, okay, I'm going to use that. I'm going to talk to the judge, whatever the case may be, because they didn't have one and two. So it's so just had a little to, leeway. Yeah, I had the, to the, just, the just let them know what I do. So it didn't, the puzzles didn't add up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So... The judge, after he told the judge, you know, he's a comedian, it's what I say, what I, the judge was like, okay, cool, no problem, and make sure he has tickets and show proof. And I'm like, th 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 so you had to do comedy to. Do, do you see what I'm saying? This is what I'm saying. This is the greatest story I've ever heard. Yeah, the, the courts, the courts, this. Made you do courts it. Courts made me do it. So now here I am, I'm like, oh, yeah, no doubt, got you, whatever this is not. So I have done comedy maybe four or five times. So I wasn't like in the field. But you had done it. Though. I done, yeah, I done, but it was Fucking only four, around. it was only, yeah, four, yeah. dabbling with it, right? Uh -huh. And then I was like, now it was in dabbling. Right, you had, well, you couldn't. Yeah, you had to give it, you had alibi. Yeah, now, I, yeah, exactly. Now I'm doing a show for, to show my evidence, basically. You know right. what I mean? So now, um, wow. um, every time we go to court, the, like maybe about the eighth time I went to court, the judge said, Where's the tickets? No, he said, so you want to be a, like like Seinfeld. That's, those were his words. Yeah. Too. And I was like, uh, yeah, definitely something like that. Because to my knowledge now, I just put the pieces together after everything. I had three investigators that were on top of me. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm doing this show. I'm calling I'm, I'm calling Jay, the comedian. Yo, what's up? Can I could just get on, whatever? I'm calling, um, I'm calling, I'm calling Rita Jones. You have a show? This is that? Yeah, let me get 10 tickets, whatever. And I will sell the tickets. You understand what I'm saying? And I'll go perform. It was the most craziest shit to do. Oh, just boy. To but, but three, yeah, just to, whatever you say will be held That'll against you in a court, court of law. Yeah. So I had to continue this this vibe. Lord, yo, listen, I had three investigators, and I realized this. And they watched you going, the, they checked you going in and the, out? I realized this later, because okay. I'm too young in the game for anybody to be like, man, that was that was hilarious. The approaches. Man, you think, hey, man, this guy's going to be, yo, this guy's going to so be So you was just sucking wind. So he was going, man, give me your autograph, man. Your autograph is going to be big later. Who and was that? The investigator was asking. No, these, these were strange people that came. Yeah. Me. Boom. I signed. No problem. You know it is what it is. But three you were at the three times. You were at the at the show. Oh, I did the show. Oh, so it was. Oh, legit. I performed. It was legit. Oh no, I performed. Yeah. Oh no, I was on, and I fell in love. So I was on all the time now. You know what I mean? I fell in love with the comedy game, and I'm doing it. I'm like, Psh. yo, Jay, where you at? Jay was like, yo, Magic, you first. I'm Who, crazy, Jay. It's crazy, Jay. Yeah. yeah. Um. So I'm like. I'm you like, see Crazy Jay? I don't know if I'm familiar with oh Crazy Jay. Oh, my God. Jay okay, amazing dude. is the funniest so I collected, ever. So I collected all my tickets. I did. All, I followed through. Let's put it that way. I followed through. Yeah. Um. At the end, he was like, okay, I'm going to give you a program. I'm going to give you a program, six months program. And the program, if you complete the program, that's it. Case, Good. case done. Case done. All because fun. you had yes, they had, you was out that. there in it. Because I was bringing them tickets was coming in. I'm like, look, I was here Thursday. I was here Tuesday. I was like, and then the investigators were getting my signature. Checking you. You got what I'm saying? So yeah, if I said I'm going to this place, crazy. they were there. But why were they getting the autograph, though? They didn't to, need to get the to, autograph. To, the autograph was I my signature em. to bring it over to them. Yeah, I even yeah, got a signature. But why are they helping you? That's, what I'm, that's helping you. No, that's not helping me. That's... No? The prosecutors if investigators. If you're not legitimate, then you going fuck you. They gonna fuck you. So let's say I say I'm gonna do this show. I'm at this place right here, right? Yeah. They're there to watch me perform. I can go there and say, "Let me get one of them tickets and bring it over." You got what I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. So no, they're, I understand they're making they're sure I'm following confirm, through. But once you confirm, what is the benefit of them? The the make, three times that yeah. three different individual acts for an autograph. When I come to where I, when I come down to it, my lawyer knew about it and yeah. everything. You're doing good. That's what his words uh, were. Okay. You're doing good job. Just keep I guess doing what you're doing. I, I, I'm so. They I were guess. on the same page. At the end, the so judge said, "Fuck you, those guys." Wish you a lot of luck wow. in your career. Stay out Just of like that. You understand? Wow. And I was so they knew. I never stopped doing comedy from there on. Wow. It was a rap. It was a rap. Wow. And so what is that like? You got kids and stuff at a young age because uh, for me, the pressure was crazy and I don't have nothing to worry about. I'm not married. I don't have no kids. You got kids of 14. What's that pressure like? Isn't that working? 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can you help him figure that out? Yeah. This is the cell phone all over again, imagine. There's a little button on the side. No, no, it's just like, it's very low cloud, it's, and it's not big cloud. It's, just pull it. But, oh. Just hold it down and pull it? Pull no, it. just pull it. I did pull, pull it. it. I pulled it from your hand to mine. Just... Why can't you get that one to swear? Do you have to hold down the button here? Right, no, really? I don't think so. This is riveting right. audio for you the You have people. to hold it down? Uh, yeah, just hold it down and put it. Yeah, I did that. That's exactly All right. All right. There, there you, you go. go. A little bit. A little bit more came out that time, man. You hit it. You got to hit okay. it. It's, uh, what and is it. it. Smoke light? Yeah. It's diet smoke. It's diet smoke, diet yo. Smoke. It's the sugar-free smoke. Smoke, smoke zero. <laughs> um, but, uh, all right, so, I mean, it's crazy. You got a family now that you're kind of supporting, right, as a comedian? Or how, how does this... Um, I'm doing that odd jobs. Yeah. I'm doing odd jobs. I'm not involved with the streets. Yeah. I'm doing... Um, Factory jobs here and there. That's got to be a pay cut I, I right did, there. Yeah, to, go, I, to go legit is a pay cut. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. But um, I just did these little things for the moment while I was involved with the system. You know what I mean? That's how you get rid of the system. Right. You don't have them on top of you. You're doing the right thing. Right. When you get caught up with parole and probations and all that, as long as you follow through. How long was your probation? Five years. So wow, you, you would have had to do years. comedy for five years minimum. Straight through. That you would have had to keep doing. And I shut everything out. So work by the time you did, did it, this. so how long, how, long, how long did it take you before you started making papers? You started making money. I started working at Rite Aid. No, I mean doing comedy. This is what I'm saying. I started working at Rite Aid and Norm Ill. You know Norm Ill? Remember Norm Ill back in the days? Yeah. He had a show up there, 145th Street, the toughest room ever. All, all African Americans. We're talking about. Army jacket, fatigue, boots, you already know that gangster, 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 145 St. Nicholas audience. The roar, you're not funny. What year would this Hat. have been? Yeah. Because the, this, for people wearing fatigues, that's got to be around the 90s. Nah, that's yeah, public yeah, enemy yeah, time. No, that's, that's 90s. That's that public early, enemy era. Early 2000s is still yeah. Yeah. Good. Like pork knockers. Yo, so no, he, no wonder George Bush So Norm Ill was, was like, he, I used to do new faces with Norm Ill. Uh-huh. New, new faces, the new, jacket. new faces, and then... No, Mel called me one day and said, yo, I can't put you a new face. I thought I did something wrong. I was like, why? Well, I can't do new faces. Man, you, you killing my, you killing my, my, my show up. show. You know what I mean? I'm like, what? Because they, they want to see you on. So on I'm going to give you 50 show. bucks. I'm going to give you 50 bucks. And you come open open next week. Right. And I was like, what? I got my first 50. Uh, the next week, I didn't go to work. I was done. That was it. And Norm Mel started putting me in this and that. That paid Way more than what Rite Aid was giving me, yeah. probably in one day. For less time. For less time. For so less time. And I woke fun. up. I woke up early and made exactly what I was gonna make on Friday <laughs> on a Tuesday. <laughs> I was like, Norm Ill was my dude before he recipes made recipes, but he was probably one of the first. You know what? I did that too. Huh? Uh, before I was doing comedy, uh, hmm. Mike Yard. Mike Yard. Uh, that's Mike Yard my guy. came to my room. I used to do a room on Flatbush. Uh. On Forty Five Flatbush, where the where the food of Islam was. Mm. All the all the Muslim dudes and I better did it, it, it was, and uh, he came there with toothless, the toothless lover. It was a dude who was missing a tooth. He's missing two a tooth. Is two that teeth. Smiley you talking about? Nah, nah. Two, remember no, he used to say this is a toothless about. lover. I'm here to tell you the tooth, the whole tooth. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing but the tooth. <laughs> and he came, he brought Mike Yard down, and toothless was like, yo. Could, yo, could you put my man up for a few minutes? I put Mike Yard. And I didn't know, like, because I came from the stripping game. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how you don't pay niggas? You don't pay new niggas until nah, later. Nah, not at all. But I didn't know no better because I know I didn't. I, any show you, I did, I got paid. And if they tried to disrespect you, you smack them with I the Mondingo. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that's a hell Mike of a Yard name, Mike Yard went up and I was like. the records for most knockout with the least amount of clothing on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's a fact. But I fucking went to. I, Mike Yard went up. He did a good. He had a decent. Set and yeah. I, I gave him thirty five dollars and Mike Yard tells this story today. He was like, he the first nigga to pay me for comedy. He was like thirty five dollars. He goes, I'm doing this shit. He, then he decided he was gonna be a comic that night. Yeah, you see, that's and once we, once we had that, once we someone showed us that worth. Yo, you, 
Oh, it showed you the next mission. Yeah. That was like a look. The 50 bucks they gave me, that I framed them. I was like, yo, listen, I framed them. I was like, yo, this is my first 50 bucks. You still got it you're framed? Like, you're like, thank you. Right. It's like more or less like, thank you. You appreciate you what I'm trying to yeah. And then he was like, you're going to do this show. And then he taught me how to become clean because he was doing Baptist church. Uh, you understand? Some comedians got a network yeah, and they got a whole that. lot of there's shows some, for there's you. Some, there's some... Christian, some Baptist yeah. motherfuckers. You, they motherfuckers make thousands They're making 1200 a show in the Baptist church. You're like, what? So I, he started putting me on to the Baptist church, Harlem ones. Yeah, yeah. So Harlem ones, you could almost curse. But the, you <laughs> could, yeah, you know, the Harlem yeah. Baptist church, you could be like, but you could say that, this shit, I'm a motherfucker. You know, you could do it like that, you get away with it. But I was like, I was like, damn, how do I get clean? How am I going to be do this clean comedy? Norm Ill was the one that said, imagine you don't even curse. You don't even know, but you don't even curse in your sets. Uh -huh. You bring funny, yo. Just bring funny. Oh, God. And then I That's just started right. bringing you funny, still bro. still kind of work clean. Yeah, like, I don't really, I don't curse unless the character curse. Unless the character you're doing is cursing. Yeah, the, if he yeah. can do it, it's just part of him, I but not me. I just realized that this motherfucker And never me. narrate a yeah. show like, this motherfucker and this, that. Yeah. This bitch, yeah. And, I, and if I do curse, it'll sound like that. This son of a motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I try to keep it there. But that's for a long time. That's yeah. crazy, yo. For a while so, I've been doing it. I like mean, that. what's it like with that, doing that, balancing and that in family and kids and stuff? That's, that's what feeds them. Yeah. So that's the balance right that's there. That's do it. That's my job. Did exactly. it ever become, did it ever, because a lot of comedians deal with it, you're gone all the time, you're out nights. Yeah, no, I make it, I got family time. I made, you made family, you made I, sure you had yeah, family I got, time. This is where I discovered creating my own lane. No one runs me, no one does, no one yeah. operates for me, no one. This business right here, I can run it because it's me that has to present me. Yeah. So I can run this business with no problem. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So by business mentality, which is streetwise, right? Sure. It's dealing with other cults, you know, other people's and pain and whatever. It's the same format you use when you're gonna run a business. Right. The same thing I do with myself. I'm hard on myself. I, I, I make sure I, I like that. You know you understand what I'm yeah. saying? And then, but what made you want to have that priority? Because not everyone has that priority. That because I chose that's my career. The comedy. Yes. But how I mean, what made you... How much of it had to do with the fact that you literally was trying to find yourself? All of a sudden, you end up... Normal puts you on. Now you have a value. You have a... You, like, I'm I'm valuable. Like, yeah. this is what I do. I, but, but I was doing it several years already before that pay. Okay. I, I always tell comedians, I said, listen, if you're in this game for some money, you're going to wait a long time. Mm -hmm. There's this not a money game here. You know what I mean? You'll you'll find it it it'll be great. You're gonna make great money. You're gonna be you're gonna make surprise money along the way because you know there's gigs that are like yeah I'm gonna give you three hundred just say my name. What? It's unreasonable. They don't have the it's balls to do it. You understand what I'm saying? It's so, unreasonable pay both ways. Yeah. Like it, insane amounts of money for a little and what work you gotta and wait then to do it. no money yeah. for a, a lot a of long work. time. But like, I'll tell you this so, though. Yeah. The thing so my hustle between that was construction side jobs. Okay. And whatever. Yeah. yeah. So I never, I didn't but, go back to the drug selling stuff. Yeah. I, I left but that you, alone. But you made sure, you said you made sure you want to spend time with your family. Not everyone does that. Like yeah. where does that come from? Well, but when you run, like I said, when you, when you run, when you run your own business, you, you got to fit that time in there. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So since and not only that i um i made life a little more easier with myself with making my wife my partner partner before you partner in business and partner there's two different type of love you got someone that loves you yeah and then Just someone that, that got your right. back yeah you got someone that loves you and then so someone what, that has your back she book you and stuff too or no she she's my product my merchandise my my money my every you understand it's a different administration she's with you she's involved now she's, yeah because i changed the format of the business you got yeah. what i'm saying i can't handle all of this this part is help yeah so, I'm sure. saying, so now I, I she runs what aspect of it does she do my my merchandise okay my merchandise um my um ticket sales she monitors she all of that. All that. Yeah, exactly. If I'm selling tickets and everything, she deals with the online tickets now, and what all that. Was she, was she working the whole time? Or she did still you, works. But, but no, what I'm saying, when did she start becoming a part of... She's always been a part of it because yeah. she's the one that ins that pushed me to do right. it. You understand what I'm saying? So well, when it comes when it comes out to the system, <laughs> the system made her, me do it. Her and the judge. You got No, it's, yeah, fairness. exactly. Yeah. She pushed me to do it. 
the system made me do it. Uh-huh. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So if I had a calling, how I would, crazy is that? Didn't that's you crazy. ever have right. this calling also when people start saying, Dante, man, you funny. Yeah. You should be a comedian. Yeah, but they say that to a lot of motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah but you had be. a lot of people tell you that. <sighs> a few did of them. Did you have a lot of people tell you no, that? No, Your no closest I didn't. Ones. I didn't. I didn't. Because did anyone think you were funny? No, because mm. I was the stripper. So okay. no, no, I didn't. I was worried about why it took me so like I didn't start till two thousand. Okay. I didn't start till two thousand because I didn't think people would take me seriously because I was such a big stripper at the time. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I got you. I figured would be like, "Yo, shut up, take your clothes yeah, off." Yeah, plus stripper took. Yo, yeah. Plus, I got you, you gotta be good. Like, like it's, it's one. I mean, you know, I was good at strip. Like, I was done that dude. Yeah. And I, it's crazy I, to start from scratch. To start you go from scratch, being doing great comedy. at your craft. And I started and a, doing. I, I was doing the black pie rooms. pie yeah. every day. I was doing the black rooms. Just had my jokes. Boom, 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 boom. And and I was doing well. But then what I what happened was there were so many great comics on this black side mm-hmm. who were making money, but wasn't they wasn't getting no fame. They wasn't getting no TV. They didn't have no movies. They didn't have no credits because. They had BET going on for them. There was a lot of BET. Even that, yeah, but they... Snaps, remember Snaps? Yeah, but that, 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 was, that was the that, ceiling it was, of it. It was, that was yeah, like the... Yeah, of the Chitlin the, circuit. The, the, like, but, when you talk about those, Kevin those, Hart... Those pieces is a be, big value part, valuable part of what we have today, you know what I mean? Because a lot of them that survived that era... It's Tracy Morgan and stuff. Yeah, but it money. can be, but those guys yeah, had but, to go into the yeah, ma- but let me navigate tell you, the mainstream a little bit. Yeah, but like, you don't see a lot of them now today. Because I see they did Tracy. Over. I seen Tracy. Yeah, but th- you got to understand this, though. Tracy, look, first of all, Mike Epps, Mike got on. Mike Epps is another but Mike one. Got, right. Here's why Mike got on, if you really think about it. Ice Ice Cube. With Friday. Ice Cube was producing for his, his NWA nigga who's producing Disney films, uh-huh. or or he's in in bed with the movie theaters. And then when yeah. Chris Tucker said he didn't want to do no more, he became a Christian and he was, It made it gave space for 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 Mike Epps to do. Then once Mike Epps did Fridays, mm. he did another Fridays. Then he started doing movies, and then he was able to do Resident Evil and and major films like that. Yeah, but he he's in a lot of films, yo. Yeah, but what I'm I'm saying it all happened from Friday. Yeah, and it happened yes. from Friday because Ice Cube decided he was gonna go mainstream and get that mainstream money. Without him doing that, none of that happens. Okay, okay. Without him doing that, Chris Tucker never becomes a guy. Rush Hour. Yes. You know what I mean? So, but come but, on, man. <laughs> but it was like it was literally like watching these guys. Who were weren't getting a shot unless they made the crossover until they did the mainstream crossover, and then when they did the mainstream crossover, then they started getting film and stuff like that. Exactly. And so I started doing mainstream rooms, particularly specifically with intention because guys, Ice Cube wasn't even supposed to be a, a rapper. He just knew how to be a rapper. Really, he wasn't know, like a he rapper. Wasn't a rapper guy who did it, and then but he knew the hustle game. Yeah. Of the rap game, he he was just uh, a smart businessman. You know what I mean? Doing Disney so films. Let me, uh, yeah, let me kick and, off and this. And literally put he literally did the Disney films, and he li- literally put it in a situation in a place where other black dudes could make major mainstream money doing films and stuff like that. Mike Mike Epps did Resident Evil. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? So yeah, but it, it's a it's a uh, man. That's a crazy story, dog. That man. Uh, Thank you, man, for having me, man. Yo, um, I appreciate shit. the moment, yo. It was always, it's always good to express where you come from. We're gonna I do felt... a little something behind the scenes if you can hang out for a little bit. We're, we're well, right look. now I have a show up in Havana oh, Cafe in out. the Bronx yeah, every Monday, so I really have to pew okay because right. the traffic is crazy. It shit. allow me to get there so, on, on time. So do your thing, man. Do, plug your shit. Your uh, brand, imagine uh, my Instagram is Imagine Comedian. Um, hit me up there and we can. I will follow each other from there on, bro. Appreciate you, dog. Hi. Yes. Hey, at my stuff is at Harry Turjanian. That's where all my comedy is, all my stand-up, and uh, all the clips and stuff. Uh, there you go. Yo, everything. You know, Google me, Dante, all that. Get it. Uh, one-on-one consultations, DanteNero.com. GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do to sexual revolution? Being podcasted. Yo, I'm out. Peace. You did not say Mandingo once. Also, guys, we're going to be doing uh, answering some listener mail on Patreon. So join us over on Patreon, everybody.